everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Nina B, your Fit to Finesse coach and today's video will fall under the real life advice section of the channel today, okay? Today we're going to be discussing how I passed the Microsoft AZ900 for free, okay? Any links that I mentioned during the video today, I will post those links in the description for you all to utilize. I'm going to be mentioning several resources that I use in order to pass and take this exam certification for free and I will link everything in the description below okay so the first thing that I did in order to get this exam for free is I attended a two-day virtual training offered by Microsoft the training lasts about two and a half hours on each day but you can pick which times and dates they have multiple dates that you can choose from you can pick which time and date fits best or works best for you So I attended the two-day virtual training. Once you complete the two-day training, they'll send you an email four days after the training has rendered. And then, and in the email, you will find your exam voucher so that you can go and take this exam for free at a physical lo location. Or you can take it online, but I highly recommend going to a physical location in order to take the exam because you can run into a lot of problems trying to take this exam at home. But they'll send you a free voucher uh, in your email and they'll also send instructions for you to schedule your exam the second thing that I did in order to pass this exam and take it for free was that I watched exam pros free online course on YouTube I went through this course twice and I also made flashcards so that whenever I had free time or downtime I could reference these and study in my spare time I recommend that you also go through it twice or even three times. I also study all of the Microsoft learning paths on their website. Now, I do recommend going over the free YouTube course first so that you can have a general understanding of the terminology prior to doing the Microsoft learning paths. The Microsoft learning paths just help to put it put the terminology I had already learned more into perspective okay i studied for 24 hours total over about a 30 day period now this may be more or less for you when i scheduled my exam i gave myself 30 days so that i would have enough time to go over the course materials and that i would be well prepared for the exam you may not need as much time as i took it really just depends on how far you schedule how far out you schedule your test once you get that exam voucher. I also took two practice exams. One of those exams was via Exam Pro. You can visit their web website. You have to register in order to get the free, the free practice exam. But it was really helpful in helping me to understand the test question format once I got to the real exam. And I also use Wiz Labs. You have to register there too. But they also have a free practice exam that you can take and the test questions that they ask from I think the questions are from past exams but they're very similar to the questions that you will have once you get to the real exam be prepared to answer application based test questions okay like the one that I'm going to insert here It's also very important to have an understanding of the basic terminology so that when you get to the test, you won't be confused. Although it is application based, if you can understand the terminology and apply it, then you'll be fine during the exam. I'm also going to post some words here or some topics here that I remember specifically from the exam for you guys to review. Using the techniques that I've already mentioned, I was able to pass the Microsoft AZ900 with a 742. A 700 is required in order to pass. Now, my test was 45 minutes long and I had 41 questions to answer. I was able to complete this test still with about 10 minutes left on the clock in order to finish the exam. You can have anywhere between 40 and 60 questions for this exam. You may have more questions than I did and you may have a little more time, but my test was 41 questions and I had 45 minutes in order to complete the exam. That is all the tips that I have for you guys in taking the Microsoft AZ900. If you guys want a curated list of other free certifications that you can take, please screenshot me your subscription to the channel 
DM it to me and I will send you that free curated list of certifications. Also, I'm still studying for the next level up. So I'll be studying for the Microsoft Azure Administrator exam, which is a little more involved than the previous one. But I'll be studying for that and I'll keep you guys updated and post the video once I have taken and passed that exam. It's going to take me a little while to study, though I'm going to allot myself more time than I did for the AZ900. But until next time, you guys be blessed, get fit, and go finesse. Peace.